Morning, morning, Jameson here. Can you remember who he was and what radio station he belonged to? Uh, Derek Jameson was his name and he was a breakfast presenter on a international BBC channel. Which one? Come on. Yep, BBC Two. He was. Uh, I don't know if he, I can't remember if he was before or after Terry Wogan because you had Wake Up With Wogan who only had one listener, that's all he ever had. It's a bit like me, really, when I ran Wildlight. I only had myself listening. <laughs> well, bad news, I'm afraid, on the uh, spectrum front, or arsehole, uh, excuse, I can't say that word, on the backside front, nearly swore, nearly got kicked off. Um, nurses yesterday, very, very bad communication. At half 11, quarter 12, I got Tracy to ring the district nurses up to uh, for a call back to see if I was due somebody out. Of course, by that time, my backside was in uh, bits and pieces, so Tracy changed it. Come one o'clock, I say, can you do me leg, girl? So she changed my leg. I'll pass two. One of the nurses turned up. I won't mention their name, because I'm not going to drop them in it. And we said to her there was no need, because it's all been done. Tracy's done it a lot. So I wasn't I wasn't impressed. Um, I must admit I was down to tears yesterday. Uh, the pain was that intense. I actually produced a few tears. Yeah, never mind. Uh, I saw a photo of uh, my sacrum wound the other day, and the only hole there now is uh, my a hole. Yeah, it's all cleared up. Amazing, as I said, if I could show you a before and after picture. You wouldn't believe it, would they, Mum? No. no. Well, Tracy done my favourite dinner yesterday. A homemade shepherd's pie with spaghetti hoops, followed by, yes, you've guessed it, a mullet rice pudding. <laughs> I think those things are going to be stuck to my gravestone when I do die. Here lays the man who liked Ambrose, not Ambrose, yeah, <laughs> Muller. Had a little chat with Jerry and Amelia yesterday for a little while. Still not heard from anybody else outside of my family or my friends, so I'll give up from them. Got to say hello to Lucy. Hello, love. Thank you for your messages. Uh, hello, Danzo. Thank you for your messages. I see you're having problems with um, YouTube. Well, you saying about logging in, I don't get all the people who say to me, I've watched your video and given it a like. Because they doesn't doesn't t t tally up to what I can see. I mean, yesterday he said to me I had six. All well being, I, I don't know who's what the six were, but I used to get a lot more than six people, even when I'm a, in a good mood at moaning. So, ask me, I haven't got a clue. No. Right. So, what's on the plans for today then? Being a Thursday, not a damn lot. No, Siobhan's not at work, she's not going anywhere, Tracy's not going anywhere, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, tomorrow will be a different matter because I get my um, my disabled money tomorrow, so no doubt Tracy will go and spend most of it. Yeah, that's what she does good, spending me money. Don't you, dear? So. If I say so. It's all right, I bet she's playing a game or reading something on farty book to not be fully understanding of what I'm saying so uh, yeah well that's about it nice short video for today so I'll say hello to you Rob and Angie Nicole Rosie so Emily J Emily Lucy and James I'll get it right <laughs> Dave Mr. Howard, peace out, brother. Uh, Gavin, Amelia and Joey. And uh, anybody else who uh, takes the time to look at this rubbish, this nonsense, nonsense that goes up every day. I mean, Danzo said he wants me to keep it for daily because there's a bit of nighttime reading for him or listening to before he actually... I send him to sleep, you know. Do you want me to sing you a lullaby, lullaby, lullaby mate? A lullaby, lullaby. It may help. Uh, I don't know what we're having for dinner today. 
I don't really care. It'd be something nice anyway. Right, so I'll, I'll leave you till tomorrow. You look after yourselves, and I love you one and lots. All, all of you. All right, bye.